Okay, so let's talk about moving our points around once we have them in our scene. So what I'm gonna do is middle mouse click, and I'm gonna go into my front view, and I'm gonna come up here and grab my linear drawing tool. I'm just gonna lay down some points. Just any old thing. I'm gonna go ahead and close that up by using the close spline checkbox here. I'm gonna middle mouse click, go back to my perspective view. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come over here to my selection and I'm gonna grab my live selection tool and I can select one point or I can click and drag and then select multiple points like that. Once I have my points selected, I can grab the move tool and I can move these around on any axis. I could scale these. I could rotate them if I wanted. I can also rectangular select or use the rectangular selection tool to select a couple points like that. Again, we can move these around. You'll notice that I can move these around also with the selection tool itself as long as I'm grabbing one of these axes. Now remember, if I have the Move tool selected, I don't have to grab one of these axes. I can just grab outside and move these around. Okay, and we can also go and use our other selection methods. We have a lasso selection tool. We've talked about these before, so you can just lasso around what you want to select. And you might use this if you had objects that were very close together and you wanted to get some points on one object without touching the other. And we also have the polygon selection, which just allows us to create straight lines in the scene, sort of like the polygonal lasso tool in Photoshop. Something I do want to show you here, if we go back to the live selection tool, select a point, and get up kind of close to that. With the point selected, if we right click, we can go to chamfer. And if I just click and drag to the right, you'll see that the chamfer command breaks my point into two points. So that can come in very useful. Okay, so working with points here in Cinema 4D is pretty straightforward. You just select the point and then use whatever transform tool that you need to use to modify the point.